Hello lovelies and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. This is Intuitive Tarot with me, Mum Court. Today I'm going to be doing a twin flame reading. This is for all my beautiful twin flames out there. I'm going to start off with a soul truth, a message from your spirit guides, okay? So let me just give them a little shuffle. Yeah, that's literally all they want in, so that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to take my glasses off for a minute because I am steaming up. It is so beautiful down here today. But I am literally stirring up. I need to get some windscreen wipers on my glasses. <laughs> that's a mess. You wanted that one. Did you see how beautiful that card came out? That message is definitely for you. And now I'm going to have to put my glasses on because I can't really love them. Oh, God. <laughs> so we have, how can I surrender even more in this moment? That's what it says, guys. That's what it says. It is essential to have clear, strong intentions of what you desire. But equally important to us is to detach from the outcome. Wow. It's time to surrender. Let the universe have some breathing room to work. Let go of the wheel. And trust so deeply that your trust turns into gratitude for what you cannot see yet. But you know it is coming. Today's soul's actions are Know this so deeply that your soul vibrates. You are not alone. Your life has a purpose and even more if you surrender. Let your guides help you. Your guides can produce miracles into your life. Today's mantra, I surrender. I accept that I can I accept things that I cannot change. I release the outcome. And I joyfully trust the process. I'll write that down below so you can claim it, my loves. I'm going to put that here. Wow. Letting go and have faith that you two will come together. And I know it's hard, my loves. You know, when you can feel that pull and you can feel somebody within you you can feel that they're a part of you you can feel their love when you feel a connection like that so strong you run up you want to run towards it you want it to be a part of you you crave that person more than ever but sometimes in life we need to be working on ourselves putting time into ourselves, loving ourselves. And when we least expect it, that person will turn up in our life because our vibration is vibrating at such a high, positive level. If we're not happy in ourselves, there's no way we're going to be happy with somebody else because we're not giving to ourselves. We're not filling our own cup up first. Messages for my twin flames, please. Yeah, you've you've definitely met. This is for the people who have met their twin flame. You've already come into contact with them. It's really important right now, especially my feminine twin flame energies. If you're resonating in your feminine energy right now, it's very important, my loves, that you know your self-worth you know your value, you know how amazing you are. The more we put ourselves down, 
the more we rain this parade of self-doubt upon ourselves, the more we're going to vibrate that out to the universe. And sadly, when we're in that state, we vibrate so much, we, we actually welcome in more of that energy. And I know it's hard to get out of that loop. I've, I've been there in, that t- in the time off that I had. I was in that energy and I found it incredibly hard. I actually put on a stone and a half in weight. And it's taken me, I'd say about four weeks to lose a stone in weight. It's 14 pounds. But when, when you're in that, that state of self-doubt and you just don't feel good enough, you just don't feel worthy. When somebody like your twin comes into your life, they show you things inside yourself that you need to heal. Okay, my loves. And sometimes the reflection is so hard to see, it's so hard to look at, that we just turn away and we stay in our own pity parties instead of confronting that fear head on, taking the bull by its horns and confronting all those shadow places and healing them. Because sometimes, do you know what? Sometimes it's too hard to go into those shadow places and to deal with our insecurities. Sometimes, if you're scared of spiders, you're not gonna just go pick up a spider, are you? No, you're not. It's gonna take a massive, massive process. And some of us go through our whole lives and we can never pick up that spider. We can never confront our fears. You are so close to confronting your fear. You are so close. And I know you have the power. You are very vigilant. You are, you have everything. You have all the tools you need to face this fear. And for most of you, I think it's just getting out of your own comfort zone. I really, really do. I've got to do something on Monday, because this is what they're showing me. Um, I've got to do something on Monday that is extremely out of my comfort zone. If somebody would have told me last year, a couple of months ago, that I would be doing what I'm doing on Monday, um, I would have said, there's no way. I'm having to to travel somewhere on my own. And it is, um, it is scaring the wits out of me. Today is, I have literally got my phone, my watch on back to front. How embarrassing is that? it is t- fr- today is Friday the 4th, my loves, right? And on Monday, I'm traveling and I'm, I'm going away. <sighs> but I've got to do this journey on my own and um, I'm scared. It's something that I've got a big fear of the way I'm traveling. It's something that I've got a really big fear of. Um, but where I'm going and who I'm seeing, I'm gonna go see my boyfriend and um, we're gonna have a bit of time together. It's gonna be, it's gonna be worthwhile getting there, the end, the end result. And um, I'm just gonna to have to put all my fears aside because I'm so annoyed with myself of letting this fear consume me for so long and um, normally I wouldn't do this without people with me because I've got such a fear of it. But I was like, the other day I was like, enough is enough. This is not consuming me anymore. That is, this is not gonna get the better of me anymore. I'm not in danger. I'm not in, there's nothing gonna happen to me. I'm perfectly fine. I'm just gonna go and do this journey and everything will be fine. And the end result is that I get to love and be loved by my boyfriend and um, have a wonderful time together. So, yeah. No more holding back, my loves. Because I think it is, it's, it, it, 
what I'm feeling and what they're showing me, it's the the thought of it, you going over it in your head, because that's that's what I'm that's what I'm like. And the more you the more you try to hide away from it, the more your twin is coming in and mirroring that energy back to you and go, you need to heal this, you need to sort this. This is one thing that you haven't healed. This is one thing you haven't sorted. And as soon as you sort this, I can come in. We can be together. The clock is ticking. You're avoiding dealing with situations because it's upsetting you. It's time to evolve. It's time to grow. It's time to get in your happy place. Find your happy place. Instead of thinking of all the bad things that can happen, instead of thinking of your fear, think of all the good things that's going to happen from you facing your fear. You won't have that fear anymore. It's never going to consume you. If anything, you're going to be able to do a lot more by confronting it because you're going to be able to get out there and then what you're going to do is have somebody in your life that's going to support you through thick and thin. It's, it's time for change, my loves. That's what it is. It's time for change. This is your time. This is your time. This is somebody that loves you unconditionally, that has so much affection for you. And they want you to be the best person that you can be. And they want you to see yourself through their eyes. And that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to show you all these things so you can be your best person. It's literally it's getting me all up in my feels. I just think you need to let go. Let it go. What will be will be. Focus on your heart, your growth, your happiness. That's what I really think you need to do. You know you two are destined to be together. But the more you don't heal these cycles, the more... You, the more you're going to be in this place of despair, longing, missing, feeling incomplete, feeling that feeling that you don't know where you're going, you don't know what you're doing, you just don't feel happy because you're not facing that fear. What is that fear? What is that thing that is holding you back? I do feel like there's been a moment in time in your past, especially in your like older childhood years to like teen years that has created this fear. Just not feeling good enough. when you are. It's like if you're, you're going into, say you've had like five relationships and every single one of these relationships you felt really insecure, you felt not good enough, your self-esteem was kaput. Um, so instantly when you go into these relationships, you instantly think the person's going to cheat on you, they're going to leave you because they're going to go and be with somebody else because you're not good enough, they're going to just find somebody that's better than you and then leave you. That's because you're not giving to yourself, you're not loving yourself. You're not finding what makes you happy. You're always trying to find, say, 
a new relationship. I've been there, guys. I, this is why I'm speaking like this, because I have been there. <sighs> I went through this cycle for a very, very long time. Years and years of going into relationship after relationship after relationship. Trying to get into a relationship to see if somebody will love me and then I'll feel good. No, 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 it didn't work. I had to have a long time on my own to love myself, to build my self-esteem up, to know my worth, to then, then find the love of my life when I least expected it, when I really wasn't looking for it. I was too busy loving myself and putting me first. And for the first time in my life, I had loved myself. I could look in the mirror and I could go, do you know what? I am beautiful. I am strong. I am powerful. I am proud of the person that I am. And I haven't been able to do that literally my whole life until that moment. And it's only been the last couple of years that I have been able to do that. That I physically can look in the mirror and go, do you know what? Woman, you are looking good today. <laughs> we have to look in the mirror every day and say one thing about yourself that you love. And if you can't do that, work on it. You deserve to be loved by you. You do. You can't fill up your own cup. You can't expect anybody else to do it for you. Give yourself that love. Because by doing that, you're going to overcome so much stuff. Your life is going to be so much more fulfilled because you're giving to you first. My loves. Go back and play some music from your teen years and get into that nostalgic place. Go and buy your favourite chocolate from the 80s or 90s, whenever you grew up, whatever era you grew up in. Um, go and buy something that gets you in your nostalgia. Give to that child, that child, that child version of you. Give to that teenage version of you. Something that your parents couldn't buy for you back then. Go and buy it for you. Even if it's a doll or something, something that you won't need now, you're giving and you're loving that baby you, that teenage you, that pff, they don't need that love right now. They really, really do. This is all your messages, my loves. Don't be hard on yourself. Really, really don't. You have a beautiful life and you are loved by many people, especially me. I hope this gave you clarity on your current situation, my wonderful twins. Love you, make you happy. If you did want a personal, Everything's linked down below. Go and check out on Patreon. I'd be really grateful if you did so. May love and light guide you on your amazing spiritual journeys. I'll see you all next time. Bye, lovelies. Bye.